Hey, this is James from Silver Siphon. First, I just wanted to say thanks for signing up. This video is just a quick one to show you how to get Silver Siphon set up to bring Stripe transactions into Xero and getting it set up for the first time. So this applies if you're using PIN payments or another payment gateway as well. The, the process is pretty much the same. So first we're going to go over into Xero and make sure we've got a dummy bank account set up for uh, Stripe or PIN. So this is a, a demo account that I've got set up here with a dummy bank account. So you might have your existing bank account here. So first we need to create uh, the new Stripe account. So I'm just going to go to accounts and then add bank account. Doesn't really matter what you put in here, but uh, I'm going to say Stripe, even though it doesn't exist in zero, we can say add it anyway. Uh, I am just going to use Stripe as the account name. If you're using multi-currency, you might want to put something else in here to identify the account currency like uh, Stripe Aussie dollars or US dollars. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as Stripe and select the other account type. Now BSB, obviously there is none for Stripe. So we're just going to put in some dummy data here. I always just use one, a bunch of ones and click save. The final step to get everything set up is to invite the Silver Siphon user to your Xero account. So to do that, we're going to go to settings, general settings, and select users over on the left hand side. Click invite a user, type in Silver Siphon and admin at silversiphon.com. Uh, we need standard access, uh, so you can pretty much leave this as default and hit continue. We'll come up with this. You don't need to write anything special in here and just hit send invite. We manually accept these invites so it might not happen right away. I'm going to jump back over to Silver Siphon now. Uh, at this point, I assume you have created an account at silversiphon.com, then validated your email address and logged back in. So at this point, you might see a sort of getting started wizard here with step one of four. That doesn't really matter. You can just click go ahead and click services up the top and you'll get dropped in right at this page and you can close this message. It doesn't matter at this point. So we're going to click connect with Stripe, which is going to take us over to Stripe where we're going to select our account and hit connect my Stripe account. Now, if you see a form here, uh, that's because your Stripe account isn't fully active yet and you'll need to provide Stripe some details so that they can go ahead and activate your account and then you'll connect afterwards. So this will drop us straight back into Silver Siphon with a connected Stripe account. So now we're going to link to zero. We'll click this button here. Uh, this is going to say allow access for 30 minutes and that's due to the nature of our integration. So uh, you can go ahead and ignore that and click this button. So once we're back here, it's going to give us a list of the accounts we've got in zero. And it's also got the uh, currency listed here. So if you just have, a, this is a very simple setup, so I'm just simply gonna click Stripe and hit save. But if you're doing a multi-currency setup, you want to, uh, basically it says here, you need to select one account per currency. So for example, if you're charging in Aussie dollars and US dollars, you're gonna to want to select both of those accounts here. So you might have Stripe AUD and Stripe USD, just hold the control key and select multiple accounts. But in this case, we're just going with one and save. And that's it, that's the basic setup for Silver Siphon. I'm gonna jump back over to the activity page and just describe a little bit about what's going to happen from now on. So the way, the way it works is that Stripe will send a notification to Silver Siphon for every transaction as it happens. And it will start, they'll start appearing in this uh, list here. And then once a day, it will sync over to zero, usually at midnight in your time zone. You would have set your uh, country when you first signed up. Otherwise you can go to edit account here and set all of that information and then you'll be ready to go. We get asked a lot if you can backdate transactions and yes, you can. So at the time of recording, you'll need to send me a message, which you can do directly through this uh, icon here. Just ask uh, that you'd like to backdate and give us the exact date you would like to go back to. 
above two months there is a charge associated with that and we'll let you know how much that is it's generally just the same as the monthly fee uh, backdated in the number of months and once that's done you'll be asked to run an import from stripe and you can do that by going to the gear icon here and uh, clicking import from stripe to silver siphon so that'll go away and suck in all the transactions back to the date that we agreed on and from that point on everything should be automatic and if you find something isn't working just hit this button and let us know. Again, thanks for signing up and I hope Silver Siphon saves you some serious time.